Hello, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do the weekly reading for the lovely sign of Pisces. I have a feeling you did this to me last week too, Pisces, where I go to do your reading and then the screen starts jumping around. I'm really dark at the moment, but it went really bright, so I'm just going to go with the dark. All right, we're going to use the Arcanum Tarot for your reading. Firstly, a huge thank you for following me. If you've subscribed, thank you. And if you haven't yet, would love to have you on board. If the reading resonates with you, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If it doesn't, make sure that you check out other aspects of your natal chart. You have the Four of Cups coming through here. So there seems to be something you're very dissatisfied with this week. Maybe you're getting uh, some sort of offer. It doesn't really cut it for you here. All right. Oh, lovely. We have the world card coming through. Oh, I love the world card. Look at that. You know, the thing is, oh, that's better. I'm right, right color now. The world card can talk about travel. And I'm feeling like at the moment things are sort of getting back to some normality in the world, even if in some places they're still experiencing a lot of uh, energy with this COVID thing still happening. But the world card does talk about travel, but it also talks about completing some sort of cycle in your life. So perhaps you're ending something that you've been invested in for a long time. You could be starting something new when the world card comes through. So you're ending something to start something new. The world card can talk about us learning the lessons that we've needed to learn on that particular end sort of leg of our journey but the world card for me is very very much about completing something and moving on to the next stage all right eight of wands coming in through behind so the eight of wands is a card that talks about fast movement it very often in this card you can see it sort of really shows the arrows of love with cupid firing his bow there so it could be that you've fallen in love, absolutely. It could be that you're about to fall in love with someone, but there is communication going backwards and forwards on the airwaves here. So this could be somebody new making contact with you or you making contact with someone else, but this is definitely something new with the world card there. Something that's going to make you very happy because we do have the Ten of Cups coming through. So there's some energy here of you sort of getting to a point here with something maybe in a relationship where maybe you're closing down being single and moving into a new relationship or you're closing down a negative relationship to move into something more satisfying but something is definitely changing here all right we have the star the star card can mean you're dealing with an Aquarius as well um, Aquarius or Capricorn energy coming through here there is a beautiful energy with the star that talks about faith and trust. So it could be that something's coming to you that you've been waiting for and you've had the faith and trust and patience to wait for it to come in your direction. But something here can also mean that you've done some sort of healing and perhaps you're ready for a commitment. Maybe you've closed out something here that's making you feel very ready for the next stage of your life because the star is talking about some sort of wish coming true here. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sag or Aries here, but we do have the magician here. So I feel here you've manifested something into your life here. Now for some of you, it's somebody coming in very passionate. And for some of you, I feel like you may have already, um, you may already know this person. Why do I feel that way? I feel like with the star you've manifested something in. It could be somebody from your past here. Brand new start with the Ace of Wands. But for many of you here, there feels like new love. So it could be either for you, but we'll dig a little bit deeper. All right, so you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius here with the King of Swords. The King of Swords is a person who sometimes can be a little cold and a little bit unemotional. He's a person who's used to thinking his feelings, intellectualizing himself. So this can be a person who's been holding back here on expressing themselves. Feel like you have a person who's going to express themselves and want to take you to the next level. That's why the world card's here. 
So I feel like this may be somebody you're already dating or somebody you're already in contact with. For others of you, it could be somebody expressing themselves after a period of time where they haven't spoken. Whoever this person is, they're ready to come forward and offer you something more. That's why you've got the world card there. All right, so we have the King of Pentacles coming through here. Oh, with the Five of Swords. Some of you walking away from something into something new and the Four of Pentacles. Some of you letting go of somebody here and moving into a new relationship. You may not even be taking much of a breath between. I feel that's what I'm feeling here, is that for some of you, you may be leaving an old situation, a marriage, a partnership, closing something down to move into something new. There is something that you're walking away from here and I feel like you could be dealing with a partner here that you're walking away from. There seems to be some sort of energy that you've put a lot of work and into this. You've tried really hard because we have the Four of Pentacles here so you haven't wanted to let go of something easily. For others of you, this could be that you've had somebody from your past you haven't let go of who's returned and you've chosen or you're currently choosing between two people here. Because there's this energy of moving from one to the other. Somebody's coming back in with the truth here. Something is taking you in a completely different direction. All right, so we have the tower. Of course we do. That makes a whole lot of sense. The choice between two. All right, with the page of pentacles. I feel like somebody's coming in to offer you something that's either been around before or somebody that you've known for a long time. Perhaps somebody you found it difficult to let go of. You may have moved on with your life and met somebody new here, but I don't think you've created created the love that you had with this other person. And this new person, you know, may not be satisfying what you want. The old person's on their way back in here. It's going to create some sort of tower moment because there's a decision you've got to make between two people here. Somebody here you've got to walk away from to create a life that you want here. This person's got a new offer for you here. Wow, okay, we have the King of Wands coming through with the Knight of Swords all over this reading. Three of Swords here. Definitely three parties here. Definitely three parties. I actually wonder if your person that you fell in love with here was in another situation before and had to move away. But by the time they came back towards you, you were already in a new situation here. The universe is really asking you here with the tower to really be true to what you want. Don't stick it out with the old if it's not what you want. Don't go towards the new if it's not what you want. Be really clear of your intentions here. Some sort of truth is coming to light through an, through an offer coming through. Somebody is actually revealing to you their feelings that perhaps in the past they didn't speak about. You could have been dealing with someone who was cold or emotionally unavailable. But I feel like this person here has done a lot of work on themselves. Oh wow, because we have the High Priestess clarifying the Three of Swords. This is a person who's seen through the blockage or seen through the energy that was holding them back here. This is a person that now understands what they were doing in the past. This person here is now coming up as the King of Wands, which says to me they're taking ownership of their own life. They're starting to move forward fully aware of what they let go before. They may not know that you're in another situation here, but they could know that you are. So making sure that you are making the right decision here is really important. If you're not in another relationship, whoever this person is coming forward here is coming forward to make some sort of offer. But I want to say to you, make sure that you're, they're really clear with you here because there's this energy of them holding back on their emotions. And it could be that this person is in another situation and maybe you need to understand that this person may have someone else in their life too. I can't discount the fact either that you both could have another partner and you are both trying to work out how to, how to work together on this. 
But the universe here with the high priestess is talking about, oh, wow, and then we have the justice. I love it when you clarify with major arcanas. <laughs> there is something here that is fated. I don't know that the person you are meeting is fated. I think this decision you're making is fated. Perhaps you've never been very good at making decisions for yourself. Maybe you haven't always chosen what is right for you. But the universe is saying here, this all sits on a decision that you're making. So you've got to somehow let something go here and allow yourself to have what you want. Letting go of this energy of holding back, being really true to yourself. There's an energy here that you have to be true to yourself with this Two of Swords. There is something here that's going to create an energy of you breaking down the old patterns here. Breaking down this old energy that you've been hanging on to and rebuilding something new. So you've got to be asking yourself here, what do I want? Which person serves me the best? Do I want either of them? Do I you know, want to move on without them? What do I want here? What does my soul want? Because I feel very strongly that you are making a decision here. All right, so we have the world card. So something's got to close out. There is a lot of information going backwards and forwards. And I feel like somebody is coming in to disrupt some sort of relationship or situation you have going on. The Ten of Cups is here, which tells me whatever way you go, you're going to have your happiness as long as you pick what's right for you. There seems to be some energy here of healing from the past. You could have been dealing with someone in the past who wasn't able to commit to you. But I feel like this person now is able to offer you what you want here yeah and it's a brand new start look at that the moon this is something that they're going to reveal to you i feel like you were dealing with someone in the past who perhaps wasn't honest with you about their feelings or may have been shut down or closed down or unable to express themselves this person is coming back in but i actually feel like you've moved on here so you may have a decision to make around what you want and that decision is about you picking what you want not because either one of them is pressuring you not because either one of them um it feels the right one you've got to go with your heart here this is a heart decision you're making there it is heart of god isn't that interesting now i pulled this card out here and this is happening a lot lately i pulled this card out here for the what's cracking reading or the bonus read so i'm going to let you go back and listen to that if you want to hear it i'm going to pull you the swan now funnily enough when i pulled this card last week the system jumped out so it's card 67 Gliding with grace, nothing is withheld from this beautiful soul. It can discern what is genuine, authentic, loving and what is from the ego parading. Even through the most impressive words or gestures, this soul can sense the withholding within of a core of fearful separation from the divine. With grace, it allows all to be and moves amongst this world with inspiring light and grace. Paramahamsa, great swan, the soul that moves the souls of others is reaching to you now. The guru, the teacher, the light, the love that is all. You are blessed by sacred divine relationship with the essence of love itself that adores you and wants only for you to be free. This oracle reaches to you now, indicating that you are held within the grace of a great soul, a teacher of the heart, of the spirit, and there is endless light bestowed upon you for protection. Your path ahead is assured. Soon you will be shifting from hope to a sense of inevitability in your attainment of the spiritual goals closest to your heart. Be with your practice of love. Through meditation, yoga, kindness, nature, dance, singing, whatever speaks to your heart and know that you are one with the divine and it's only a matter of time before you realise it. The poem here says to love from afar. All we share are dreams of what will unfold. I feel like here something is really coming to you here. There is some sort of energy of you having to put yourself first 
And maybe you've never been really good with that. Maybe this is the lesson you're learning here. I feel like the universe is offering you something really beautiful here. You cannot make a mistake. You cannot choose wrongly if you go with your heart. Do not choose because it's right or it's, you know, whatever, whatever it is. Make sure you are choosing with your heart. Have a great week.